<laughs> I'm Rebecca with the Nocturnal. How are you guys? Doing great, We're great. thanks. How are How you? are you? I'm good. I'm good. So this is the first of its kind collaboration with your entertainment company, Kugali Media and Walt Disney Animation. So talk to me about the concept for this series and what has the overall experience been like for you guys throughout the creation process? So the overall concept of the series was to reimagine Lagos, Nigeria through a futuristic lens. Lagos is my home, is where I was born, and I knew The, the day I decided I wanted to become a storyteller, I knew that one day I was going to tell a story that would effectively serve as a love letter to to Lagos. So what we did is we took many of the aspects of contemporary Lagos, modern Lagos life, and figured out how can we use technology to make this still very recognizable, but then also create fantastical sci-fi elements that are a lot of fun to play with. And then from a narrative perspective, looking at themes that are unique to, to Lagos, but then also universal in, in our capacity to understand them across the world. And about how the experience working with Disney Animation, I would say it's, it's been just a very good experience because I, I think one thing that really surprised me was the people that actually work at Disney Animation, just seeing that all that magic and cheer and love you see in Disney movies isn't there because they just wrote it in a script. It's there because the people who are creating it are actually very kind, cheerful people. And working with those type of people made things so much better. Like I literally looked forward to doing the work because it's like, oh, I'm going to have a meeting with this person and this person and this person and this person again. And I, I made so many friends along the way. So I think the actual experience itself was very, very pleasant. And one of the things I love so much about the series is like I found myself watching it and I'm like, oh my God, if that was like real technology that I could have today, my life would be so much simpler. I would love to just put a helmet on and my hair is done. Like, <laughs> so what do you guys want viewers to basically walk away thinking or feeling after watching Iwaju? I'd say in general, just the world, we want people to get an understanding of Lagosian culture specifically and just different African cultures or culture different from theirs. And the reason this is very important is we tend to see the world through the lens of the stories we consume. So the stories we have about a place is a story we had from somewhere. And a lot of the times we get understanding from the stories. Now, generally people understand the West very well, even if they've never been here, just because of the plethora of stories about the West out there. But without, within African stories, you don't really see that many stories that have that prethla that kind of travel the world. And those stories allow us to give culture nuance to all the different aspects of the things we see. We don't judge them as good and bad right away. So if something is Western, you can be like, oh, that's an American thing before you call it a bad thing or a good thing. We want to have that same thing with Africa. We'll be like, oh, that's a Lagosian thing or that's an African thing versus, oh, that's a bad thing. Oh, they do that there. Oh, we want it to be like, oh, that's a good thing. But no, that's a cultural thing there. It may be good, it may be bad, but that's just how it is over there. And growing up, a lot of us have those core memories of watching many well-known Disney animations like Hercules, Mulan, Tangled, and now Iwaju will be a part of that long list of creations. So while I was watching it, the two words that came to mind were representation and authenticity. So how important was it for you guys to use the platform you created to properly execute a series that depicts Nigerian culture? I think the two go hand in hand In, with respect to representation and authenticity in the sense that we didn't want to create something that felt like a Western story coated with some African flavor because at the end of the day, you know, part of the reason why we do what we do is to bring something new to the table. So that representation, that authenticity actually enriches the world of storytelling because people have already seen stories from from the West. People already seen stories from maybe even the East as, as, as well. So people are used to those kind of, of, of stories and we see so many of them. But when you, when you bring something like Lagos, you know, if you're not from Lagos, you're going to watch this show 
I think many of these elements, we actually invented them when they're actually rooted in, in real Lagosian uh, culture or, or, or experiences. And so I think that by making it true to itself and true to Lagos, we're actually creating something fresh and new that, that, that people can, can enjoy and bringing something completely different to the world of animation. Thank you guys so much for speaking with me today. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Awesome.